friends welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and today's video is about professions in canada and i'll be talking about the accounting profession in canada this is as a result of the um, feedback and comments i read when i did the video on your degrees not counting in canada so as a result of that i decided i will be doing a video about every profession in Canada so that you have an idea of what to do instead of um, you know trying to do a master's or a PhD and at the end of the day it is not relevant like I mentioned in that particular video if you are in the health information science or health sciences uh, profession or the educational profession or you want to go into research then you can go ahead and do a master's and a PhD but if you are not in those professions, there is no point doing a master's or a PhD. It is better for you to do or uh, to get a professional certification in your career path, which will be more, um, which is more acknowledged and more respected compared to a master's or a PhD. So based on that, I'll be talking about the accounting profession. That's because the accounting profession is more or less the first, first profession in the alphabetical order. So I will start with the accounting profession and hope to progress to other professions as the weeks and the months go by. So just bear with me. If I don't talk about your profession, you can remind me. But today is basically for the accounting profession. Now, if you have a bachelor's degree in accounting and you intend to immigrate to Canada for immigration purpose and for higher scores in your express entry profile, a master's and a PhD is okay. But when you come to Canada, those things at the end of the day, they don't really count. The next, the next thing you should be looking out for to get is the Chartered Professional Accountant designation or a, a Certified General Accountant designation or a Certified Management Accountant designation. So you either have a CGA, a CMA or a CPA. These three designations are very, very recognized in Canada and they will help your career as a professional accountant if you, if you want to work as an auditor you also need to get a cpa as well so that you can you know um, grab the big jobs when i mean the big jobs the high paying jobs and i'll be leaving um i think a snip of what the pay is like each province for each province in in accounting so if you're an accountant you will see what people earn in each province as an accountant and for now Alberta is the um, province that is leading in terms of wages or in terms of earning for those who are earning well as an accountant. I think they pay as much as $40 per hour or $35 per hour. I can't remember, but Alberta is the province that is leading, then followed by Ontario, then other smaller provinces. Um, Saskatchewan is the third. Manitoba is like about $30 per hour if you have gotten your CPA. So um so in addition to that i'll be talking about alternative professions that you can work with while you prepare to get your designation as a cpa a cma or a cga remember once you get these three designations um the the opportunities are open for you you have more opportunities and you have the potential of earning a very good pay you can earn as much as hundred thousand or hundred and fifty thousand Canadian dollars once you get your CPA or your CMA or your CGA and your number of years of experience those ones also count for you as well so um, I'll be talking about the alternatives that you can be working with while you're preparing yourself to get the CPA designation the CPA designation is the most important designation out of the three but the others are also okay but it's best for you to get the CPA designation so alternatively, when you are waiting to get your CPA designation, you can work as an accounting officer, as a um, collections officer, you can work as a finance officer in some organizations, depending on the job advert. You should always check the job advert. If the job advert is not requested for a CPA designation or any other designation, then you can apply for those jobs. You can work as an accounting technician, as a payroll administrator. If you're in the banking profession, you can work as a customer service person. Although in the banking profession, they also have some certifications and designations that um, are required for the banking profession, which I'm going to talk about once I get to the banking profession. 
for now this is accounting so you can uh, you can work as a financial sales representative as well while you're working towards getting your designation now there are some organizations that also pay you to get the cpa designation but they don't pay you the money directly they will require that you write the exams first and once you pass the exams then they can now reimburse you the monies you've spent to get your cpa designation another thing you should know is once you've started writing the exams you can be you can indicate in your resume that you are a cpa candidate so that it gives you an advantage over someone else who doesn't have the who is not even writing the exams so once you start writing the exams to get the cpa designation you can indicate it in your resume that you're a cpa candidate and if you're looking for a job opportunity that that says you should be at least a cpa candidate your resume will be likely picked over somebody who is not even a cpa candidate so that's the advantage of trying to get the cpa designation in canada and then the process of getting the cpa designation from outside the country it's possible for you to start the process you can just depending on the province you want to learn in you can search um, the cpa provincial website like if you want to learn in manitoba you go to cpa manitoba if you want to learn in alberta you go to cpa alberta and then look for international educated professionals and um, you'll find the information there normally what they require for you to do is to evaluate your credential and send the assessment to the cpa the cpa body will look at your credential so if you have a bsc accounting or a master's in accounting then you send your master's degree um evaluated credential to cpa cpa will look at what you have versus their own criteria and then they can waive some courses for you and tell you which exams you need to write before you can become a cpa designate uh, for if you don't have the accounting background that means you have to start afresh all over again or if you have experiences working as an accountant but you do not have the accounting um you don't have a, a degree in accounting you can also send your um your transcripts to them they will look at it according to their own criteria and then tell you which exams you are to write before you become a cpa designate for those who have studied um acca or who have the acca designation or who have the acca certification it's easier for those group of people because it is recognized in canada and you can just apply to them they will tell you the tell you the exemptions that you have you will now be asked to write some exams i think two or three exams before you get the cpa designation so it is quite easier for people who already have the acca compared to people who already have icon so if you have an icon it is not recognized in canada but if you have acca it is recognized in canada for some other countries like India and Pakistan, I think they also recognize their own professional accounting body. I am not so sure, but I am aware that they recognize um, some of their professional accounting bodies and then they try to, you know, have, um, waive some courses for them and then they just write one or two exams and then they get the CPA designation. So that's the information I know about uh, being an accountant in Canada. I am not an accountant. <laughs> Funny enough, I am not an accountant, but that's the information you need to know about being an accountant, accountant in Canada. And um, so when you come to Canada, you can just start from one or two minor professions and then start working your way to getting your CPA designation. The moment you get your CPA designation, just know that the floodgates of opportunities are open for you you have the um you now have the certification that will make you have a uh, have a better offer a better job offer and also get paid get well paid as an accountant in canada so that's the information that i have shared for you and anybody who is an accountant coming to canada just try to do your background work if it is possible start the process from your home country so that you don't come and then start the process over here start the process of the registration with the cpa body start the process of sending your transcript to cpa so that they can look at your transcript alongside the criteria they have and then send you a list of um, the exemptions or the courses that you'll be required to take before you get the designation I don't have an idea of what the cost, total cost is like, but I know it is dependent on cost by cost. For some courses, you'll be required to take it in the university, while some, some courses, you can just take it with the CPA body itself. 
you know and uh, a combination of all the courses together will now you will now be able to get the cpa designation so that's all i know about cpa and um getting the cpa designation i'll be doing other professions as the weeks and months go by so that you can get yourself prepared and you know try to be ahead the goal is for you to come to canada and you know not start on on a very low level for some people they have to start in a very low level because they don't have the finances but if you know you are already a professional in your home country and you have the finances it is better to start from your home country and then once you get to canada you just complete the whole the complete the remaining aspects of it and then you are um, you are good to go you are on a better footing and you start earning well and and um, job opportunities will be open more for you so that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching and in my next video i'll be talking about the last not the last uh, the fifth um community that has been designated for the rural and northern immigration pilot that is supposed to start this year luckily they have even started advertising jobs and um i'll do i'll talk about it in my next video so that you can start applying to jobs and all that thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye